Hello Tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about introspective hypnosis, what it is and what it does. So let's talk about what introspective hypnosis includes first. It includes Ericksonian hypnosis, past life regression, forgiveness therapy, as well as spirit assistance, otherwise called spirit releasement and role change. Why I personally have decided to study and learn introspective hypnosis, this type of healing work, which you are doing by the way, takes a look at the psychosomatic symptom from 360 degrees. So if someone comes to me saying, hey, I don't know why I have this guilt in me, we're going to be looking for the origin of that symptom. And as I like to say, finish any type of pending business. We might go back to the memory, which is in your current life, depending on client's belief system. During the session, I like to honor my client's reality. So I'd be asking questions about your belief system, as well as if you do believe in past lives at all. If they do believe in the past lives and they tend to go to the past life, that's where we're gonna be digging to. It's a very flexible method that can help you release and deal with certain emotions or certain symptoms that are holding you back from being your 100% self. How to prepare for introspective hypnosis session? Um, you know, I'm gonna give you a couple of advices, see what works for you. So for some people, what helps going for a walk before a session, for others help sitting still with themselves and being with their thoughts. For others, maybe playing a um, favorite song and dancing to the music. That's when you connect your body to your soul a little bit more. Overall, there is no recipe. It's a very personal experience. The main thing I would say is not being overly scattered or running around and then jumping into the session straight away. I like to advise people not to drink a day or evening prior to the session takes place as well as watch caffeine intake, not take maybe that extra cup of coffee or tea that has a lot of caffeine before the session. Have a light meal, you know, um, don't feel overly full so it doesn't intervene in the session. What happens during the session? During the session when person is under trance, we're looking for a psychosomatic symptom at its origin. So we're going back, traveling in time and space and remembering um, because you're in your subconscious mind, you can remember much better than from your conscious mind, remembering what has happened that has caused you to feel a certain way. That's when we finish that pending business. Would it be in this lifetime? Would it be in the past lifetime? Or would it be caused by a spirit, a lost soul attachment to your auric field? How does the structure of the session look like? So we start with an interview. I ask you questions which are quite personal and I would say have your heart open when you come for this session because if you'll have something that you don't really want to talk about, there might be a little bit of resistance and the session might not flow as gracefully as it should. So we're talking about your personal life, I'm taking notes. I am also taking notes about what it is that you bring into the table, what you would like to look at. But keep in mind, sometimes our conscious mind thinks that the main issue is this and your soul knows better and it might take you as a priority to other memory that is most important to you right now to be free from. So that's something to keep in mind. Open heart as well as open mind and a very strong intention is super, super important before going into the session. This session is not a curiosity thing. We're dealing with emotion. We're going to be bringing you to the memories for you to feel it again, heal it, and answer questions for yourself, what it is that it was preventing you from doing right now. And we kind of end that chapter and release you from that memory, but we do take the lessons that are beneficial to you in this lifetime. A lot of people ask, what does being in a trance feel like? Being in a trance is a very, very subtle feeling. It's as simple as listening to your favorite song, zoning out. Reading a book, focusing only on the book. Also, I'd like to give an example. It's as if you're washing the dishes after your day and then you zone out, you go back to memories, what has happened and how you felt. And it's as subtle as that. So basically, you're going to be talking to me with your eyes 
closed. Some people, um, they're very visual, so they will see almost like a movie in their head because we're diving into your subconscious. As I like to say, depth of the ocean. Some people are not as visual. Depending on the client, what type of client I have in front of me, we're going to go by either feeling, either visions but what you're going to be talking from is your subconscious mind instead of your conscious mind conscious mind is quite limited and subconscious mind like a storage basically your conscious mind is with you but is a little bit on the side the session is recorded and it's recorded for your own self because some people sometimes forget most of the session some of the session or tiny details from the session and when you do look back after some time to what has been said in your session, more and more dots will be connected over time. Just remember, every time you'd be reviewing your session again, you go in slightly into trance and the healing is happening again, but it's a little bit more subtle. So do not be surprised if some emotions would come up again or you're going to have light bulb moments. After the session, I advise everyone not to do something that requires your full focus. To drink a bit more water, some people might uh, tend to go to the toilet more often because the cleansing is happening not only on your energy body, but it's happening on your physical body too. I like to say this process post-session, almost like a purging process, as well as your energetic field is putting things in places for you, so you do need time for that. It's a very personal process, so everyone's story will be different and everyone's healing process is different. Whoever has more questions, or if you are doubtful, or if you want to ask me about introspective hypnosis, or about the session that you want to book yourself, drop me an email. We can schedule a call if you want to talk to me and see me face to face and feel my vibe a bit more and feel my energy because trusting practitioner is really important since we're dealing with personal information wishing you a good morning day evening wherever you're at until next time bye for now